Practitioners in criminal law gather at Manchester Crown Court. That might not seem unusual, but the reason they're all here is. It's in protest over cuts the government is proposing for legal aid. Few know better than David the value of a state-aided defence. He was charged with rape, but the case against him collapsed when his legal team proved the allegations were flawed. We've agreed to protect his identity. I feel if I hadn't got it, then I would not have been able to build my case to defend myself. So I would probably be in prison without the solicitors and experts that having legal aid gave me access to. If the proposed changes to legal aid save £200 million, and that was it, they'd be welcomed by most people, except lawyers of course. But there are concerns that the reforms will affect society's most vulnerable. This leading defence solicitor in Lancashire meets many of his clients in police cells. Like others, he's facing a cut in fees of a minimum of 17%. He predicts many practices won't survive. From being a country that prides itself on its criminal justice system, we will move towards a third world country situation or a banana republic uh, where you have justice for those who can afford it and for the rest, you take your chances and it's tough. The government rejects claims defendants will be denied justice but admits it is about cutting costs. In their current form, there is no doubt as a result of these changes that law firms are themselves going to have to change. Uh, they're going to need to merge, they're going to need to share back office costs, they're going to need to work more efficiently. But fundamentally, this comes down to the, the values at the heart of what we're trying to do as a government. We have to take tough decisions. The greatest concern, though, is more miscarriages of justice. Susan May from Oldham is still fighting to clear her name over 20 years after her aunt was murdered. You think that you're going to be found innocent if you are innocent. You trust the law itself. Um, and sadly, the whole system's flawed. So you need the best representation that you possibly can. Rarely is the legal profession so vocal with its views, an indication of the challenging times ahead. Ashley Derricott, 